You know what I love? I love it when open source alternative operating systems add new functionality that makes them increasingly viable for daily usage as a standard desktop operating system. Things like web browsers and office suites and all that sort of thing. I love that. That makes me happy. That just that just gives me the giggles all over. But you know what I love even more than that? You know what really, really just makes me happy? When retro operating systems, old operating systems, stuff that's been around since, I don't know, uh, the 1980s or so, continues to get developed to this day and is somehow magically both open source and becoming a viable modern web browsing, Wi-Fi enabled desktop operating system. And that is exactly what's happening with the open source Risk OS. And it is so fun to watch what we have going on here the the screenshot those of you are seeing for those of you watching the video version for those of you listening to the podcast version uh go check out the video version <laughs> the the, 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 the visuals for this one while they are few are just delightful this is a screenshot that was posted by one of the subscribers to the lunduke journal xct7 uh thank you for posting the screenshot by the way of the current release of risk os the version specifically is called risk os direct which is a like a distribution of the open source risk os version 5.31 now despite the fact that it is a kind of a a mild version number right a 0.31 update this version includes full Wi-Fi networking on Raspberry Pi devices. So you got a Raspberry Pi 4 or whatever, or Raspberry Pi 3. You've got full Wi-Fi now. You don't even need to use an Ethernet to get networking working in Risk OS anymore. And what is really exciting, you have a WebKit-based full web browser they call this iris that works and <laughs> he's got a screenshot right here of him literally browsing lunduke.locals.com going to the lunduke journal community site and browsing it and it looks correct now he he did mention that there were a few issues with with uploading certain pictures to the site and whatnot because of file name discrep differences between how risk os handles file names and and the unix style of file naming but as a general rule web browsing works and from what i've seen from others posting about this in general this is a fully functional webkit based web browser that's running under risk os which was originally released in 1987 awesome 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 i mean shoot a couple of years out and this thing's gonna be 40 years old and we got modern web browsers on it son i'm gonna i'm gonna walk you through a little bit of this so so risk os as an open source branch that's that's kind of uh resided presided over by the risk os open.org group and uh risk os direct develops on top of that to add additional software and and do additional software development basically creating a distribution of the open source version of risk os and risk os runs on arm based devices specifically Practically, that means Raspberry Pis. Uh, it does run other places as well, other ARM-based uh, uh, single board computers and computers and the like. But uh, the thing most people are nowadays are probably going to run this on is a Raspberry Pi. Um, now, the, la the latest version that came out uh, just a couple days ago, October 24th, so five days ago now, version 5.31, um, Risk OS Direct uh, added a Wi-Fi, a full JavaScript and CSS web browser, uh, Iris, <laughs> and, and what they say is the best possible experience of Risk OS 5 on a Raspberry, 5, Raspberry Pi 4 and below. Um, and you can grab it right now from riskosdev.com. Uh, here's just a couple of things they added here. Um, it's updated from the 5.29 versions with features and fixes, blah, blah, blah. Several years of work. 
Risk OS develops new TCP IP stack with Wi-Fi capability for all applicable Pi models. This includes support for network profiles, IPv6, Wi-Fi portal login protocols, like if you're in a hotel or, or whatnot, and more. Um, a first-time setup software introduces Risk OS Direct, helps users to configure it to their liking and choose network settings. Um, uh, Pinboard 2.0 software powers a new, more useful desktop, saves files to your desktop, makes folders, sticky notes, wallpaper, sideshow, basically just extra ease of, of getting to, to know your Risk OS system, and a new JavaScript, CSS, and HTML5 compliant web browser, Iris, to deliver a modern web experience to Risk OS. This can be used in conjunction with the Wi-Fi portal support to log into Wi-Fi networks as well as normal web browsing duties. Support for MP4, MKV, MP peg to dvd video for improved media playback so yeah you can play modern video files you can browse the web improved photo and graphic display when viewing images enhanced audio options including uh, revised radio streaming uh network printing it has network printing support now pdf print support i mean <laughs> A, des a desktop publishing uh, system, along with the creation of complex documents, brochures, leaflets, and more. Um, programming updates to various languages, including the latest Risk OS Python 3, which now works well alongside the Iris browser. Full writable version of the SparkFS zip archive software. A new version of ScumVM. <laughs> yeah, you got to have ScumVM. Uh, and, then, and then a whole lot of... of updates uh includes an offline mode for users who value an operating system devoid of pop-ups online connections constant updates and noise which i think is absolutely fantastic um this is this is truly truly great i, I just want to read a little bit uh, they have a their about risk os direct so risk os direct is designed to provide a comprehensive friendly yet powerful way to run risk os on the raspberry pi family of computers the five excluded they don't have support for raspberry pi fives at the moment it provides a ready to use experience out of the box with a huge range of software resources and configuration elements preset for users to deliver the best risk os experience we can and it, it looks great i mean it it's risk os it's distinctly looks like risk os but uh now they've got a web browser now they've got wi-fi networking and, and and everything else it's just it's just awesome um and uh installing it looks to be fairly simple i mean essentially if you've got a raspberry pi and you're used to flashing sd cards with uh with images to boot up your raspberry pi you're good to go uh you can easily do it with risk os um and uh gosh i i just really recommend checking this out it's really cool um i'm gonna be firing up i gotta pull one of my raspberry pis out of storage because i haven't used a raspberry pi in a while and uh hook it up to a, a system somewhere and just set it up as a as a risk os dedicated machine and really see how how usable as a as a daily driver it might be i mean i mean we're talking about it's running on a raspberry pi right which is not the biggest powerhouse of computers out there but this is risk os we're talking about risk os is is ancient by by modern comparisons and the last time i tried risk os was on a raspberry pi 2 and it screamed its performance was fan freaking tastic on a Raspberry Pi 2 many, many, many years back. Now we can run it on a Raspberry Pi 4, which is hugely more powerful than a Raspberry Pi 2 with a lot more memory and everything else. And now we've got a WebKit powered web browser. Absolutely friggin' awesome. You know what I want to see? You know what I really want to see? I want to see this continue with, with what they've been doing here, because this is awesome. The great work, Risk OS and Risk, Risk OS Direct Teams. Awesome. I want to see the Ladybird browser come on over, right? A fully independent web browser brought over to one of the really great independent and and legacy legacy operating systems out there combine those two together uh taste great less filling that's just fantastic that's just so much fun um so again kudos if you want more details on that you can go to riskosopen.org which will give you the standard risk os page or you can head over to riskosdev.com for the risk os direct uh and, and the, you can download all the images there with the uh, 
with the new web browser and the DVD playback and the MKV and MP4 support and, and all of it and and just have a good time. I want to hear about it. If you get this up and running, I want screenshots, baby. I want screenshots of you watching Lunduke content and going to the Lunduke journal. I want I want screenshots of it because I, it's going to be a few days before I manage to get this set up here on my own. Because uh, I got to go pull my Raspberry Pis out of storage. <laughs> Haven't needed them lately. But now, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, clearly I need them. In a time when so many operating systems are presenting issues right whether it's mac os or windows or or even linux nowadays and people are coming up against technical issues design issues bloat issues uh, ethical issues political issues with various systems to see a, a truly independent system like risk os continue development from 1987 when it started to now and and truly get to the point where it's huh it's kind of on that that verge of becoming a viable modern desktop oh that's exciting oh that is exciting that is truly deeply exciting uh so anyway kudos to the team check it out I want to see screenshots, son. And with that, uh, thank you to all the subscribers, by the way. Go to lunduke.com. There's links there on all the places that you can listen to and watch and read all the stuff from the Lunduke Journal. It's all right there at lunduke.com. Boom. Click, 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 click. It's it's phenomenal. Uh, and thank you to all the subscribers who help me to do what I do. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerds and nerdettes across the inner tubes. I do declare and broadcast.